Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning. I've not vlogged at all this week. And I don't even have the vlog from the weekend up. I'll probably get that up today. But I was going to show you. I came out here to Snapchat. The coloring seems to be better out here. Um, so I thought I would start with the little face of the day. I was wearing some of the Fiona Styles products today. Just a couple of them. The blush in Main Lane, which I really like. And then this is the quad in Topanga. Not sure how I feel about that. More on that when I do the get ready with me. Um, and then, I'm not sure. I was going to try to do outfit of the day like this. I'm just wearing some leggings and my riding boots. And then this um, long shirt. I, kinda, I got this at TJ Maxx, I think, something like that. I don't even remember who it's by. But just, I don't know. It's gray outside, so I was wearing gray. And, oh, and these lashes are um, Inky Minky White Lies that Chanel um, sent to me. Um, as a little present and I like they're really long but they're, I'm kind of settling into them when I first put them on I was like ma so we'll see lip is Mac twig these earrings I think are Leah Sophia um, those are just riding boots nothing exciting it's a little after seven. Oh, I need I don't need I want to put on <laughs> um, a bracelet or a watch I think I'll wear my watch and that is that I'm gonna head to work um, Bob is working. I don't know what's going to go on this weekend. Bob is working. I got to put you guys in the, I got to put you in the cupboard. Um, Bob's working nights the next couple of nights, I th or the next couple, yeah, the next couple of nights. I don't know, um, if you guys are new, sometimes he does that, um, to check on other shifts and that sort of thing. So he's doing that tonight, tomorrow night. So I'm going to the Chili Supper at church tonight with my mom and dad and then our friends from church. And tomorrow, I think we're, we are going for fish. And I think Bob's just going to sleep and then go for fish and then go to work. I think that's his plan anyway. Um, on Saturday, I, if, as long as it still works out, we're, I'm going to be filming here with my friend Rich. And you guys may have seen him on my Instagram. He is a makeup artist. He used to work for Mac in Appleton and now he's doing freelance and we've talked about kind of filming. He has a channel. I'll link it below if it has, he has had one video up and then, um, you know, just was trying to decide. So I, from what I understand, which is one of the reasons why we're filming, because then I can um, have people kind of check out his channel. He's going to be uploading videos and stuff. So anyway, that's happening on Saturday morning. Um, Bob is going to sleep come home sleep for a little bit and then go to my mom and dad's and help them with something while we're filming and that way he's hoping if he just sleeps like for four hours then he'll be able to get back on a regular schedule and sleep saturday night so we'll see it's kind of hard on him i'm sure those of you guys that work shifts like that where you switch shifts sometimes your day sometimes your night can understand so anyway i just thought i would do a little check-in and i'll see you when i see you so good saturday morning to you guys it is about 8 40 and I just got done having coffee um, at the farm with Steven. Oops, sorry. And um, I'm now sitting in the car wash line. Let's see the car wash line. Um, there's nobody behind me actually currently. Sorry, I just about dropped you. Um, it's the it's really nice day. Most of our snow is gone. You can kind of see over there, see the snow banks. Um, but most of our snow is gone. We are just... Um, um, we've had a couple of really nice days. This week was nice. We had a lot of rain, so that helped. Um, but yeah, so I'm filming actually today with a friend of mine, which you guys will see on my channel soon. And um, he's going to be there at 10. And Bob has been worked nights the past two nights, and he's back to normal now. He just had to do it for two nights. So he came home at like 6 o'clock, and so I got ready quickly and got out of there so that he could sleep. So I went to the farm to have coffee, and now I'm going to get a car wash, and then I'm going to go back home and try to be quiet. All right, so it's 10 o'clock, and I'm just waiting for Rich to get here. Um, you guys have to see this. Bob is up. He's just... <laughs> Say hi to the folks. Hello, folks. <laughs> we are just enjoying... It's a beautiful day. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It's gotta be about 50, I'd say. What date is it today? 13th, mm, huh? 12th. Well, yeah. I've been working nights. He's a little confused. Time. So I gotta put my coffee Time on. For the annual he deck walk. <laughs> He's wandering around the deck to see. So here's the thing. We this deck is solid. Like solid. Built really, really well. But we don't know what the deal is with the stain. 
Yes. Bob and, and um, his brother-in-law at the time, Frank, helped him build it. And, and my dad helped as well. And, um, but the stain, it, we've done it a couple of times and it just comes right back up. Yeah, Except for right there. Because, I don't know, yeah, I don't it just know. has to be the sun. This deck is in pure sun, yeah. like, all the time. Tree, it's pretty much <laughs> it's, it's pretty much full sun and so that's the only thing we can think because if you look right there where the sun doesn't hit it it's right. perfect yeah that's what i want it to look like well right but i don't think that's going to happen honey unless the sun goes away and we don't want the sun to go away no. it doesn't matter what time of year it is it's just all sun all the time so i still look like this because i don't even know if i told you so rich is coming over and we're going to film Hopefully it will be up by the time you guys see this. Um, three tips for glowy skin for dry, maturing skin. So we thought that would be fun. He um, is really, really talented. He and I have been friends for a couple years now. Like two and a half, three years now, something like that. And um, I met him because he was working at the Mac <coughs> Counter, And now he just is on his own, freelance is on his own. And is going to be working on his channel too. So anyway... That's what we're doing. I'm just waiting for him to get here. But, so as you guys can see. There's the garden. There, yeah, there's the garden. Getting ready. And, you know, we should get some more of that white sand stuff that goes in between these stones this year. Yes. Um, but the snow is gone here. It's only in piles here and there. Oh, there's some a little bit over there. Over there. We don't have any on our property. No, we it's do not. We are thankful for that. So yeah, I've showed you guys before. See, we have a police officer that lives right there. We have one that lives right across the street from us. It's nice. We're very nice and safe here. Anyway. Yep, we got to refresh this. It doesn't look too bad right now, but it's wet too, yeah. so. Yeah. So anyway, we're just chilling out and uh, enjoying the weather. All right, it is about two o'clock, and sadly, I am such a slacker. We didn't vlog at all. We're it's just okay. hanging out with me. <laughs> I mean, you can't contain all of this. All right, of this in a... right, into a vlog, really. <laughs> He's totally kidding. Um, so we just filmed tips for glowy skin. I think I told you guys that earlier. Um, and... I will get that up, I don't know, probably be a couple of weeks, but I want to make sure that I at least introduce you to him. Could you just, could you just keep holding things? <laughs> it's not like his arms are full. Of... <laughs> okay. No. What are you going to do? So my apologies for not filming, but we had a really good time and this is what we came up with. Not that you can see, but I'll go outside and show you guys in a little bit, but. That glow. That glow though. Right. And those eyebrows. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is, oh, I gotta change my clock. Honey, you gotta change it's, your clock. <laughs> it's 20 to eight, or 20 to nine. Um, the time change was last night, obviously. Um, and I have to tell you guys, I actually have footage from last weekend um, that I shot, but I'm not gonna put it up. It's, I have it uploaded and everything. I just never was able to find the time to get the box filled out. The description box so I'm gonna delete that footage I have to delete that video I think because it's old news at this point and there wasn't anything important anyway right well we went to the retirement party did we do any vlogging no we didn't no do I any. didn't vlog so um that was about the only thing other than going to church that we did important yep that's true it wasn't much. I shoveled snow yep I shoveled for Bob because he um, has been working so much I didn't want him to have to come home and and do the shoveling too, so I shoveled and then I was sore for a long time because those are muscles you do not use on the treadmill, let me just say. So, um, anyway, what else? We did go to a retirement party of a, a really good work friend of mine last weekend, and um, we went to Prime Quarter, which is where you grill your own steak. It was really, really fun. I put a little snippet of Bob on my Snapchat doing that, and he put a little picture up on his Instagram. <laughs> What else? I don't even know. And this isn't the beginning of a vlog, by the way. I do have a few pieces of footage to show you guys. Um, I'm so sorry that I didn't vlog more when Rich was over yesterday, but we had a really good time just kind of, um, well, just talking makeup and life and church and it 
was good. It was really, it was good. It was good uh, few hours. He ended up being there for about four hours. Did I even tell you that? Bobo shopping at Cabela's. Correct. That is correct. correct. <laughs> So anyway, we are off Which to leads me to a dilemma, but we'll discuss that when we get back home from church. Oh, okay. Because you have to show them your haul. Yes. And then said dilemma after the haul. Yes. So... <laughs> there's, I always, there's pros and cons to everything. That, that is true. That so. is true. So we are off to church, and um, we did not have choir today. I have to switch arms for a moment. Um, I did not have choir today because we have our annual meeting after church. So, um, yeah, and that's what all re we really have going on today. It's, here, let me show you guys. The there snow is, a, is There gone. is a uh, storage, I forgot about this. There's what they call Storage Wars auction today at noon. I didn't really put a lot of things because I, with the meeting, I don't think I would make it. Oh. It's in Toronto, it's in town. Oh, really? Somewhere. You, you I would... just wanted to go to be in because apparently they open up the door to the storage unit and you're not allowed to go inside. You're just allowed to look at it from the outside, and then you bid on it. The highest, you know, it's like a regular auction. The highest really? Yeah. Huh, interesting. But I was just you know, right. I was curious. I wanted to see what Let's it was. See, it see how much these things go for. Well, I think you would have time. I mean, well, I uh, the... well, you figure the meeting's probably not going to be over till eleven, and these, it starts at noon. I would be surprised if that meeting goes a whole hour. You don't think I could, so? Well, I could be wrong. We'll see. I don't know. It depends. We don't know the first time the last annual meeting we hadn't been members long enough that we felt like we would have anything to offer i don't think we so, were members this is the mem this the, is our first full year yeah uh i think the annual yeah, meeting last right. year was in january just like our old church was yeah the, the week between the super bowl and the championship games yeah you're right and, and we, we weren't officially we were. members that we were still yep so anyway we'll we'll see we don't, i don't really know what it could be but so what I was showing you guys, sorry, is that the snow is all gone finally. Yesterday it was almost 70 degrees, I think. Yeah, I had 68. 69. Yeah, yeah. 69. So it's, not, it's supposed to be more like the 50s this week. Yeah. And we are prepared. I mean, it certainly could still snow yet. Right. We're talking We've Thursday. Had, for real? Yeah. Great. That's what my phone is called. <laughs> we have, um, we've had snowstorms in May before, so. Right. You know. They don't last, though. Typically. No, no. Especially, it's annoying. especially now that all the other stuff is gone. Uh, oh yeah, it won't stick. It actually. won't. It, it'll stick, but it'll it won't last long. I mean, even if it's. In my opinion, it's not sticking if it's not there for twenty four hours. Oh yeah. <laughs> you don't know. Oh, I know. You don't, you don't have to drive it at three o'clock in the morning like I do. Uh, you're not driving it at three o'clock. Okay, at three fifteen. Try again. 3.45. Try again. That's what time I leave. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's rough being him. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so he's worked the night. I can't remember if I said that. He's worked nights past a couple Thursday night and Friday night. He worked nights. And so, but he's back on a normal schedule now. Yeah, I feel pretty good today considering we got a good I had a good night's sleep last, last night. But for the last, I haven't had a lot of sleep since Wednesday. Yeah. I have to show you guys, by the way. So I did, um, I used a super, 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 super chick lacquer <coughs> nail polish that I get. All right, so um, I had to edit out Bob having a coughing fit. Um, this is the super chick lacquer. I don't know what the color is. I'll try to remember to, to, to list it. But man, it took me three coats to get it opaque, which I do not appreciate. And then this, which also doesn't look very good. This is the new, I would like the color of it, but now, I mean, I remember why. This is the new Pacific Blue, not the old Pacific Blue from Sally Hansen. But, I don't know, I was trying to do something different. I want to try to figure out how to put some lines on here, maybe. Um, I don't want to do polka dots. I'm not feeling polka dots, so I want to do polka dots. Random information about my nails. All right, so we will check in with you guys when we get home and Bob can explain his dilemma. Dilemma. All right, it, I don't even know what time it is. 11.30. <laughs> um, church meeting went really well. I need to hang this up. Um, I just put a load of laundry in. And I need to, I don't need to. I want to go for a walk today, but I need to check out when the, when the rain is supposed to come so that I can try to work around that. Bob went off to that auction he wanted to go to. Oops. So um, he doesn't know how long it's going to be. 
and I need a couple of things from the store. If the auction's only like an hour or so, then he's just gonna pick up the stuff for me. If not, I'll run to Clintonville and get it. Anyway, point of that is, I'm gonna have a sandwich and watch Rosewood, which is one of the only shows, it's, it's, it's on. At the same time, something else is taping, I think. So, um, shut the screen door. So, it um, conflicts, I have to watch it on demand, is the point of this. So I'm gonna sit down and watch that while my laundry's starting. And uh, kind of plan out the rest of my day here. I don't have too much to do, and I could use a chill day. So, I think aside from maybe having to run to Clintonville to the grocery store and then going for a walk, the rest of the day I shall chill. We'll see. All right, it's about, just about one o'clock, and the auction was a bust. I'm gonna put this in my makeup room, apparently. The auction was a bust. Uh, well, not so much. He just said it went really quickly. And uh, he said, I'll, I'll ask him again. He called me just to tell me he was going to run to the store to get the couple of things we need, some cucumbers. I need some cream because I forgot when I went to the store yesterday. I do that a lot. Um, I have to take my cookies out of the oven, then I'll show you. Hold on. So these are those spice cake mix with pumpkin in them and then chuck chips. That's legit, the whole recipe. So I just pulled them out. I'll let them cool a little bit. Normally, I don't appreciate a cake-like sort of cookie. Like that kind of, you know, lots of people like that. I don't. I like more of a dense, doughy kind of cookie. But I thought I would give these a shot. Um, I had the cake mix that I wanted to use up. I had had it in there for quite some time. So I bought it in the fall to make these and then never did. And the pumpkin mix. So I thought, well, I'm just going to make them and then I'll bring them into work tomorrow. So I like to bake. I can't help it. I just, um... I just can't leave it here. <laughs> I mean, I just can't. So anyway, I'll leave a few, of course, for Bob, but I'll take the rest in. And for me, I will eat some of them as well. And they're not horrible. I was kind of, you know, guesstimating the calories. And I looked in, when I found it online, I looked and I mean, it's still a cookie, but it's, it, could, it could be worse. Anyway, um, this shirt, I have to show you guys this shirt. I got it on Holt Look. It's, I don't even know the brand. I don't know. but. It's really baggy. I probably, I should have gotten a size smaller than I did, but um, so it kind of hangs down in the back, and I have it tied right here. Isn't it cute? What can I say? So yesterday afternoon, after Rich left, I ran in, got a pedicure, and got my nails filled, and then I painted them on my own. Um, but it's just so nice to like get your first real. I get pedicures once a month. Pretty much all year long but to get your first like summer pedicure where you get like a summer color on your toes <laughs> i don't know just something that feels good about it but it's pretty dreary outside anyway i'm just rambling <laughs> sometimes i wonder why you guys even bother with me so i'm gonna finish these and then switch my laundry around and then i'm gonna go for a walk before it starts to rain on my head all right it's about 20 after one bobby is home how's the auction that was fun i mean not like a typical auction it was a uh... I'm gonna come on this side of you. Just due to the light. It was a, uh, what they call a storage wars auction. It must be people that just leave and leave their storage units unoccupied and they, they cut the lock, they open the door, you're not allowed to walk inside of it, you're just allowed to peek in from the outside and then they, they auction it off, just like a normal auction. The, so, whole, the whole locker or just pieces in it? No, the whole thing. Oh, I get Whatever's it. Whatever's in there, whoever bids. That's why it was so quick. Yeah. Oh, got Whoever it. Whoever gets the highest bid gets everything, and then you can either, they make you pay a $50 deposit, so if you don't want to get the stuff out within 24 hours, you can just give them the 50 bucks, and then you got a month to get it out, or you, mm. if you got get it out in 24 hours, you get your $50, $50 deposit back. Oh, well, there you go. So, otherwise, it just works like a normal auction. So, well, all right. something different. Saw some peeps you hadn't seen in a while. Yep. So. All right, so what's your dilemma game? Well, um, as you guys, as you folks know, I do a lot of fishing. And I've got multiple tackle boxes. You know, each, like, I got top water one, I got one for jigs, and, and I got one for crankbaits. And they don't all fit in one of my storage lockers in the boat, so I got them positioned all over in the boat. Okay? So when we're all fishing and if I want to get, say, a spinner bait out, I usually keep them in the back of the boat. So if Benny's back there fishing, um, I don't know if you, if you recall Benny, if you see some of our vlogs from the past, when he's fishing, he's 
If they're not biting on something, he's constantly changing lures. And instead of putting them away, he just puts them on the floor of the boat. That way he knows what he's tried, you know. So I'd have to move a bunch of stuff. So my thought this year, I had two options. Number one is, you know, just buy a bunch of these plain old storage things and just keep them in, a, in, a, in one of my storage lockers. And uh, when I wanted one, I, you know, Kristen's got a nice labeler that I could use to label them. Um, I could just grab one and, and take it out. The only issue with leaving these in there loosely is they can't, they don't have no way to stay organized. They bounce around all over in there, you know. Mm -hmm. So then I thought, well, I can buy a one big bag and try to keep everything in one big bag, Hence which I did. This. So this is the bag. I went and got this yesterday. Very nice bag. Lots, lots of storage. There's 12 of these plain old things in there. From Cabela's, made by Cabela's. Yep. And, uh, How many are there in here? There's 12. Okay. 12 in if there. we can find it, if you guys are curious, if I can find it, I'll link it below for you. Um, yeah, it's called the, the Advanced Angler Super Magnum Tackle Bag. That's what it's called. Okie doke. Um, the issue is, is that it doesn't fit in any of the <laughs> storage lockers in the boat. Um, it fits down in there lengthwise and widthwise, but it's too tall. The lid won't close. And I can't, you know, you can't do that. You're going to break something. Yeah, because these, th there's no give to these. There's no give to these and there's no give to the lid. So something's going to break if you step on it. Um, so now what I have to decide is there's pros and cons to everything. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this is to have all my stuff at my fingertips up at the front of the boat, which this will allow me to do. The only dilemma is, is I'm not a big fan of having stuff laying all over the boat. If you watch some of these fishing shows on TV, these guys got six, seven rods laying out and they got stuff laying all over. You know, I, I prefer to have a lot of room. So what I'm going to have to figure out is, is how much room this is going to take up. As far as storing it in the boat when we're not fishing, it will fit underneath the driver's side seat and in the console. So it'll be safe there. I'm not really too concerned about it bouncing out because it's already heavy enough even without. There's nothing in here other than those plain holes and it's pretty heavy. Once I put all my gear in there, it's, it's going to weight it down. So I'm not really too concerned about it bouncing out of the boat when we're traveling. <clears throat> um, so I'm just going to have to think about it. My plan was, was to start putting this stuff in here today and getting it all organized and stuff and using Kristen's label to label everything. But uh, I'm going to take some time and think about it if this is the route I decide to go. Because I can take it back. I kept my receipt, obviously. Yeah. So I can take it back to Cabela's anytime I want if I decide not to go with this route and then figure something else out. So, so there's um, the dilemma. That's are the there, dilemma. Are there any that are like the same idea but not as tall as this? Yeah, I mean, work? they make smaller ones. But what's the purpose of that? Well, I don't mean like, I just mean smaller oh. only in that it's not as high. Yeah, I didn't really see any like that. Oh, okay. I'm just curious. I mean, what do I know? I mean, for makeup storage, there's a plethora of options. Right. Right. <laughs> so. Again, you know, and there's pockets in here to put my right. pliers. I mean, everything, if I, if I kept this up at the front this of the boat where nice. I'm fishing, you know. It's really, that, it feels really well deep, made, too. These are deep pockets, too. It I goes mean, all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. If, oh, no, that's just a, I thought maybe that was. Oh. No, it's just for the thing. No. But that shows how really well made it is, like where the. Where this hooks up here goes all the way down through. Yeah. It's not going to rip off it there. So we'll keep you up to date on what he decides to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to after a stogie, I'll take this out there and position it in the boat and see how much room it's actually going to take up before I fish. There you go. That sounds like a good plan to me. And then I'm going to think about it this week and see what I decide. There you go. I'm working on one of our dinners for this week, finishing these cookies. And um, I'm gonna cut up some vegetables and then go for a walk. That's my plan. Mr. Game has more to add. Um, getting back to the tackle bag, one of the reasons I bought it, the main reason, <laughs> is because it was on sale, right? You gotta take advantage of sales. Right. That bag was originally priced at $149 and it was 30% off, so I got it for like $97. So I saved like yeah, 50 that's a really bucks. good deal. So that so, was another reason why. I I'll try to get this vlog up in a timely manner. So if anybody is curious about it or your husbands are, or maybe early early Father's Day shopping, something like that. Yep, Cabela's, I think it's for the whole month of March. There you it's go. The, the spring fishing sale. All right, so, so I'll, I will do my best to find it and put it below for you guys. And I'm not sure why I had to point below as if they don't know where below is. <laughs> if you don't need one quite that big, 
There's one. I went with the biggest one because I do a lot of fishing. I probably don't even have enough to fill that, believe it or not. Close, but not quite. But, you know, then if I decide to buy more stuff, I'll have place. Space. Oh. Right. Got to have room for yeah. growth. Yeah. We got to have room for growth. Because they make one like that in an eight, with eight containers in two. And that one was on sale, I believe. That one was $70. Okay. I think it was the sale price on that one. So Good deal. So there you go. I'll try to get this up in a timely manner. Thank you, Mr. Game. You're welcome. All right, so it's about 2.30, and I was just having a good conversation with my friend Melissa, which is always fun. And um, I was gonna show you guys, these are my vegetables, this is what I do, I cut them up and then I put them all in the drawer like this. Um, and I forgot to mention that Selection Sunday, this is the first, I'm gonna get my cashews up. This is the first, boy, when was the last time we weren't sure if the badgers would get in or not? It's been a while, so we think they'll get in because they did have a pretty good January, February, but um, yeah, they just weren't all that this year. So anyway, I made a wild rice casserole. I think I, do I have a video on that? If I do, I'll link it below. Um, I made that for later this week. I do a lot of, you guys have noticed, I usually do two or three meals, like I prep them on Sunday and then make them throughout the week and then we have you know leftovers the other days it just works better I sometimes don't get home until 5 5 30 I hop on the treadmill then it's another hour you know what I'm saying so um, I try to prep stuff ahead of time so that I, I don't have to actually like do all of the prep and cooking as well as all the other stuff you know what I'm saying so um, anyway so now I'm gonna prep some lunch thing, I'm prep and some breakfast, some oatmeal and some yogurt. So I take on different days. I try to alternate yogurt and um, overnight oats. What you looking for, game? The salmon bowl. Oh, I'm sure it's wrong. I better go find that. For the record, it was in my chair right there. <laughs> Sorry, game. It's all right. So anyway. Uh, I just do a lot of, that's the reason, and like I said, I've said before, I kind of wear myself ragged on Sundays, um, but it just makes it easier for the rest of the week, so that's what I do, what I do. Um, I'm just about done with prep, and then I, I think I'll, maybe I'll take you guys out for my walk with me. Show you a little, I mean, there's not much to see but brown, but, you know, I'll show you anyway. So I've shown you guys this route before, I think, but this is what it looks like. <laughs> where I walk and most people say it looks like something out of the walking dead <laughs> and it does kind of remind me of that but it's so quiet and there's hardly ever a car that goes by and this I tried to post on Instagram or on snapchat but my phone decided to die Ugh, I'm having such issues with my phone you guys anyway this is Wisconsin walking chic right here <laughs> got some long underwear on sweatshirt I was gonna go without the hood, but it's a little chilly when the wind blows. Well, my friends, it is six o'clock and I am exhausted. I'm so tired, I don't feel like I did that much. But um, I was gonna show you, it's raining now. Um, so we watched the selection show and we are number seven seed, right? Yeah, Badgers are our number seven seed, and GB, U University of Wisconsin Green Bay, which is my alma mater, is a number 14 seed. 14 seed. And before you put a bite in your mouth, how do you feel about the Badger chances? Well, the Talking Heads gave we're us not a. Making no, final four run this year. no. Um, I'm going to tell you, the key, in my opinion, the player going to have to play well for the Badgers to advance deep in this tournament is going to be Vito Brown. He was a highly touted kid coming out of high school that never really materialized his first year, but he stepped up now his junior year because Kaminsky's gone. Yep. Um, and my opinion is, is if he plays well, they're going to have to guard him and that's going to give more opportunity for our best player, Nigel Hayes, to score. And then they can go far if, that, if those two guys play well. Um, not really worried about Bronson Caning, our point guard. He's turned the ball over nine times in his last 12 games. So we don't, we don't, we don't give the ball away. 
No, they don't like that. That is not a uh, Wisconsin thing. I mean, I can I can see possibly getting to the Sweet 16, possibly, but we're gonna have. I mean, we've got some tough teams to play. So the Talking we'll Heads are giving us a little more chance yeah. than I would have given us. Yeah. So we'll see. But with that, um, yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed it and that you had a great weekend. I'm gonna attempt to edit this you know, in the next couple of days and get it up. So anybody that might be interested in that sale could see that information. But any uh, parting words there, game? A good pizza. Good pizza. Having leftover pizza for dinner. I'm not feeling the best, so I don't think I'm going to be having. Anything. I'm going to go have to have a celebratory stogie for Wisconsin and Wisconsin Green Bay. That would be a good game to watch. I'm looking so, forward to seeing the Phoenix. Yeah, it's good to see my my Phoenix. And hopefully, they don't the, play at the same time. Yeah, that would be a bummer. We're both thinking about taking Friday off because we both could yeah. use a day off. So, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you had, like I said, I hope you had a really great weekend and that you're having a good start to the week. And yeah, I probably won't be checking in this week. I have a lot going on at work this week. But um, if we do both take off on Friday, we should have some vlogging next weekend. Yeah, we'll think we're gonna go down and we're gonna go down and meet our friends um, and stay overnight. They have, we are, always order Girl Scout cookies from them. So we're going to meet them halfway. They are in Milwaukee. And um, normally, or not normally, the last time we had dinner and then we came back and they stayed over. We decided to stay over this time. So, Yeah, all right. Thank you guys for watching again. We love you guys and we'll see you when we see you. Bye.